So even on a slow day, we're making as much, if not more money than we typically would because of those big sales. Welcome back to Commonwealth Flipper. My name is Kevin. We are back in the Commonwealth cabin. Had a little bit of a slower day of sales, but had two really, really good sales, really high priced items, really nice ROIs on those items. So even on a slow day, we're making as much, if not more money than we typically would because of those big sales. You know, if you've been watching my show at all, <laughs> you know that I'm willing to sell just about anything as long as the work kind of matches up with the price tag. So I'll make two bucks on something if it doesn't take me any time to do it. I'm not gonna clean something for two hours to make two dollars. I'm not gonna test it, I'm not gonna do any of that. But if I know it's good, I know I can just snap a picture, list the item really quickly, and then ship it really quickly, then two bucks might be an option if I put, you know, no more than, I don't even know, no more than like seven or eight minutes into it from like beginning to end. And one-offs are hard to do that on. If you're making two bucks on items that you're selling multiple times, then that's one story. But one-offs sometimes can pay off big time. And I had a couple today. I think I'm going to save one for tomorrow because it just sold and I didn't have it on my list. I'm kind of excited to talk about it because I just found it for a good price. Just listed it and sold it really quickly. I think I had a picture of it on Instagram. So if you're over there on Commonwealth Picker on Instagram, you'll see it or you have already seen it. I think I posted something about it on maybe, I don't know, maybe July 3rd or something like that. Anyway, one little quick thing before I show you what sold today, before I show you a really nice ROI item that we've been selling a lot of lately, but we sold the creme de la creme part of it, of this lot that I bought. Um, I'm going to show you that in just a second. And then, of course, we have a homeschool hustler store sale and a couple things inside. But I think grand total, like 12 sales is all we had today. But that's good. Gives me a nice little shipping reprieve, which gives me a chance to take pictures and list a little bit, which is what we were talking about the other day. And I think I kind of assumed something that a lot of you do what I do, and a lot of you out there don't, and that's list on my phone. When I'm talking about, hey, I list something before I have my cup of coffee. I list something in my backyard in my chair, or I list something every single time my class ends at school, or every single time I have a lunch period, or if I'm sitting in a restaurant waiting to be seated, I get one listing and done really quick. And a lot of people just don't list with their phone, and I got a little bit of that um, in the feedback. So I'm curious, if you would, leave in the comments, do you list with your phone, or do you list with a computer, or a combination of both, or maybe even an iPad or something like that? Or do you just buy this stuff and give it to your spouse and say, hey, <laughs> that's my uncle who does that. I hope he's not listening. At any rate, uh, let me know. Do you li I list exclusively on my phone. I'll go into my computer and I'll revise things and adjust things because there's some things you can do on a computer that you can't do on your phone. But as far as the first listing, um, I am going to list 100% of the time on my phone. So at any rate, let's get into what's sold today and a couple down the list here and I'll show you the cool one. So let's take a look. All right, first item up is a Depop sale. So this is like my fourth or fifth Depop sale which I think is really cool. I love, I don't have very much listed over there. I just basically take the coolest vintage items that I have and not all of them. Some of them, if I've already have them listed on eBay, I'm not relisting them. But as I find some cool new things, I have been posting a few on Depop really to learn the platform more than anything else as opposed to become a seller on that platform. But I've enjoyed it so much that uh, I think I'll probably list two or three things a week over there and uh, hopefully sell some. I've listed the same items on both eBay and on, what did I say, did I say Mercari? And on Depop. And I've sold about half of them on eBay on half of them on Depop. Now, if you're just listing every item on Depop, it's not gonna work out so well, but I've picked out this type of item. And this is a cool, this is a single stitch shirt. If you don't know, there's literally one line of stitching there. And it is a vintage one. It is Screen Stars, made in the USA. It's got that cool old tag. It is in great shape. I see one little tiny mark, and that is it. Other than that, this thing is in terrific shape. It's the old dare bear say no to drugs. That's a cool one. It's thin. This is the kind of thin shirt I like to uh, pick up. You can see your hand through it. I picked this up for 50 cents at a sale with my wife, along with two other ones. This one was sold for the best amount of money. So one, I think, for 20 or 25 or 20 plus shipping. And that was on Depop. And then we sold one on eBay for 15 plus shipping. And this one sold for $30 plus shipping on Depop. 
you know, if certain things appeal to you as a Reese or as a person, because that's your era or your genre, it's likely that they will appeal to somebody else. And what's interesting about Depop is they take things that appeal to my generation and the younger generation <laughs> wears them, which I think is pretty cool. I suppose that kind of happens when I was a kid, everybody would wear the hippie stuff. And there's that little gap right there from my age to their age. And now I guess we're the old hippies. <laughs> Isn't there a song about that? <laughs> oh, I'd sing it, but you'd probably uh, check out real quick. At any rate, there are a couple more cool sales. Let's take a look at those. All right, three video game sales. And this is $9.41 for this one, the Forza Racing. Call of Duty, I don't remember. Let me look. This particular Call of Duty is $15 free shipping. And the Deadliest Catch 2-pack, $11 plus shipping on this one. That reminds me, just looking at these video games, this is definitely not my era. But, you know, my wife is considerably younger than I am. You probably can tell that by, by looking at us. But uh, there are things that appeal to her generation. I guess we're pretty close in generations, but she is a little younger. And that I'm not familiar with. And then, of course, there are things that I look at and she's not familiar with. So when we go out picking together, we get a pretty good little gauge of both of those things. All right, sold these Nike LeBrons. I don't know, Nike Zoom LeBrons here. They're not in amazing condition. And I picked them up and showed them to my boy. I'm like, hey, what are these? And he helped me look them up. And uh, Because of condition, they sold for $20 plus shipping. All right, here's a pair of shoes. I think my wife picked these up. I'm not sure. Probably. Well, you know what? I think I picked them up. I remember these. These have been in the store a long time. I paid a buck for them. Uh, whenever you see these shocks, some of them are worth really, really good money. They're, they're easy to spot. And so if they're like a buck, I'll pick them up and just take them home and do the research there on them. These were a buck and I did that and they're not great. They took a little while to sell. They're women's, um, a woman's, I don't even know what size they are, but they sold for $14 plus shipping, but they were in the store a long time. But there are some types of these that go for close to $100 used. All right, we have Turner in here and we had a homeschool hustler sale and you dropped your glasses. Yeah. Did you do that because of Pepper? Pepper, here, come yeah. here, girl. Hey, Pepper. You want to say hi to everybody? Oh, yeah, you're a sweet kitty. As long as Boots isn't here, huh? Boots isn't sweet at all. I shouldn't say that. Boots is your daughter. All right, Turner, let's tell them what's sold today. Okay. Okay. Uh, isn't it a hug-a-bunch? It is a hug-a-bunch, and they're kind of freaky looking, but you're getting used to holding them, aren't you? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Do you have chocolate on your face? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, this is a... Did you get this from the Goodwill? Did Mama buy that from the Goodwill for you? Yeah, I think so. The car shirt. <laughs> that sold for $25 plus shipping. Uh-oh, there we go. And that's a nice sale, and that came from our Mount Plushmore sale. We are still selling that stuff off. So I'm going to let you say goodbye, and then we're going to look at how much money we've made from that sale. Bye. All right, let's take a look real quick over here. Here is a hug -a bunch $156 buy at the Mount Plushmore sale, which most of you have seen. It's over on the Commonwealth Picker channel, and we have made $1,824. So take that number, subtract that, and you have our profit because all of the fees and shipping, all that's taken out of that number. So, oh, Turner, we'll what? see you later, bud. Oh. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Bye. Oh, her britches are down. We better pull those up oh before we ship gosh. them, huh? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> see you later. Yeah, I'll take an ice cream, but I got to finish doing this video first, okay. okay? Can you come back in like five minutes? Okay. Turner left and so did the cats. Well, so did one of the cats. So did Pepper. But when they left, Boots came in here. So there's Boots. She's probably going to do something bad, aren't you? You can't get in those bins. I can't have them cats in my bins back there. <laughs> All right, we'll see if she does something bad in the next two minutes. My guess is she does. You see, we put that bell on her just so we know where she's at, so we can make sure she, she doesn't do something too bad. At any rate, look, we sold something really cool. I picked this up from the antique booth that I go to. I have sold, I mean, I bet you I have paid, we've been in these antique booths for like 11 months. I bet you I have paid my rent half of that time by just things that I come across at the antique shops that we go to. Like five or six things that have brought some pretty good money. And this is one of them. We have already made money on this uh, wrestling buy that you saw us make. I posted on Instagram a while back, but we've been selling those wrestlers off bit by bit. And we've probably made a profit of about 50 bucks so far. Still have a few left. And we sold the big one today. So not a big wrestler, but we sold this case behind us. Let's take a look at it. 
Look at this. I, I shouldn't badmouth Boots here. Are you being good today, huh? You being good? All right. Yeah, you're just trying to suck up to the viewers because you know you're not good. Look, you're not even looking at me. You're looking for some mischief. I know you. Anyway, hey, I also had some people ask about my setup here, so I'll give you a close-up of it. I need to get some more seven boxes. And I go up here sometimes. See, I put them up here. And I don't think I have any more seven boxes. I have some inside. and need to get those ordered. But anyway, here it is. Here's the item right here. And I listed this, believe it or not, I put it out there for $125 plus shipping. And I'm like, you know what? I'm probably going to get an offer and I'll think about it at $100. It's in pretty good shape as far as these goes. I mean, it's not perfect. But there are some out there that uh, are not in good shape. And this one sold for full asking price, $125 plus shipping. $125. This is all going to be pure profit after fees and after shipping so well shipping's paid for so i'll make a little bit of money back on the shipping and then fees so this is a really nice over a hundred dollar profit on this item plus we still have at least two more here i think we might have a couple more over there or at least some wcw ones that i need to list as well so that's an awesome sale and since we are right here before we head inside here is an awesome license plate and we already have a georgia one but the person who sent this, when you sent it, we didn't have one, and I do appreciate it. And let's look at the back. This is, I'm like, they didn't leave a note. And then I looked at the back, and here is the note. Two dudes picking. Two dudes picking on YouTube and on Instagram as well. Gary Perkins and Adam Jones. So that is really, really, really kind of y'all. And we will put it back here somewhere, even though I know we have a Georgia plate already. I don't know exactly where I put the Georgia plate. I think... Did we put it over here? There it is. There's a Georgia plate right there. So we put that there. Maybe we'll put this one up right next to it. We'll put it up right there. So thank you all so much and let's head inside. Hey, just two sales from in here today and that is it. So let's take a look. I got this one from a sale. I did a video that I didn't think I was ever going to put out and then we had our little uh, lockdown and I'm like, well, I guess I'll put it out. It wasn't the most eventful video. It was called the best of garage sales and the worst of garage sales. I suppose, or a tale of two garage sales. I couldn't remember which book I was trying to name it after. <laughs> At any rate, and I bought this Tommy Bahama shirt, 100% pure silk at the best of garage. It was the best because it had really nice stuff, but it was really expensive. And then the other garage sale had really awful stuff and it was dirty and everything else. So it was the best of and the worst of, but I didn't buy hardly anything from either sale. And so that's kind of how it is sometimes, you know. I like those kind of middle class sales, <laughs> if you will. I don't know, is that the right way to put it? I guess it is. Those are the ones I find the most amount of good stuff at decent prices. So, although you can find anything anywhere. This Tommy Bahama doesn't sell great, but it is 100% silk, size large. I think, I don't even know what it sold for. All right, $14.61 plus shipping. And I think I paid $2 for it. So it's not bad, but it did hang around for like 10 months, literally hang around. All right, I think this is the second one of these that I sold. Here's the battery for it, of course. The AT&T uh, cordless. I don't know what model this is. Sold for $13, $12.99. Free shipping. It's really light. It goes in the 7x2x4 by by box. I think that's what it goes in. And, um, you know, you can make money selling these. If you have a hard time finding stuff and you see, you see these all over the place, you can sell them as sets and make, you know, depending on which kind. If you buy them for 5 bucks a set and you, you're willing to test them, and that's why I don't like them. You test them and make sure they take a charge, everything turns on. You gotta clean them a little bit because a lot of times they have a little gunk in the little holes and stuff. And they used to be a little bit more money, now they're not quite as good, except for some particular models, Panasonic. Some Panasonics are really good, and the VTEX aren't so great. But if you wanna piece them out, you can make money. Almost no matter what they are, you can make money on the chargers and the cords and the handsets and the, the bigger the bigger uh, handset one, like the the, I don't know what you want to call it. The master charger set, I guess is what you'd call it. You can make anywhere between like 20 and 50 bucks by parting them out, depending on the model. I just don't like to do it. So I probably won't be doing too much of this, but if I do find one new in the box, I'll definitely pick that one up for sure. So $12.99 free shipping. Hey, down to 260. This is going out. There's three of them going out. Andrew, Michael, and Adam. And Adam sent me a message not on the purchase he says sorry i'm sending this in a message and not in the comment section when you make the purchase 
Uh, at any rate, no big deal. It's okay. I've been a long time viewer and finally selling on eBay thanks to you and other creators like you. I really appreciate you taking the time to make the videos and sharing your knowledge. I'm going to need all the help I can get to move these items. So, uh, we hope it's going really well for you, Adam. We appreciate it and we hope he does get things moving for you. Thanks. All right, I'm going to head out. Don't have too much to ship. It's a fairly light day. Like I said, I don't remember how many items exactly, but 11, 12, 13. I got a fly flying around in here. I got to get it out of here. Reminds me of those days in Southern California. We lived out in the outskirts, you know, not in the metropolis. So there's a lot of chicken farms out there. And now I have chickens in my backyard. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Reagan wants it. You know, when your little girl asks you for something, it's hard to say no when she's a good kid. So, anyway, hey, thanks for joining us, and we will see you next time. Thank you.